Hello everybody, thank you for coming to visit with me this evening and watch my video. This one tonight is the second half of the um, Semi-Precious Stones. What I have tonight is, is mainly a mixture of stones kind of mixed in together. Plus I have Mother of Pearl. I have an amber set, which is a bracelet. I mean, which is a necklace and earrings. I have um, two, uh, I think they're you and I necklaces that are just fabulous. So I wanted to show them to you. And they are st have stones in them. They're just real cool. So um, I just wanted to make sure that everybody's doing great. Um, I just was kind of overwhelmed earlier. I had a lot of things on my mind and um, somebody sent me an email and it seems like even when you think nothing you do is good or is helping out, um, it is. If you do something good, it, it reverberates down the line, you know. Um, I was thinking that maybe my videos just are, you know, boring and dull and this and that. And, you know, I've got people that really enjoy listening to my videos. Um, I'm doing these really to kind of show jewelry more than sell. I like to sell it also, but I like to kind of not show it off, but show it, um, especially the vintage jewelry, which, you know, some people don't know anything about it. Um, but being as old as I am, you know, that's what we grew up with. And I enjoy showing, you know, older pieces off and um, sharing with other people what they have and what they like. So I'm hoping that these videos do reach out to people. Um, I'm hoping it's a calming, you know, easy to watch video, the ones that I make anyway. And um, if you want to purchase something, of course, I want you to. Um, as easy as possible, so that's why I have you comment below the timestamp and the price. That way all I have to do is send you an invoice and da da da, it's shipped and you know, there we go. So everything I do is kind of calculated towards it being comfortable for my subscribers to be able to um, participate in, in the channel and um, just have a nice time sitting and watching. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start. Don't forget, we have a giveaway at 250, I mean 200, 350 subscribers. We're at, I'm not sure, I think it was 336 a little bit ago. I wanted to show my sister, I'm working on her, her bracelet. I have taken this apart. It's a double strand. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and connect, reconnect it with the string and take one of these out. I'm not sure which one yet, but I'm pretty sure it probably will just be this one here. And um, as soon as I get that one in, then it, of course I'll take this side off and get it off and see how short it is then. And then um, I'll put it on my wrist. My wrist is really tiny too. And she's a lot smaller than I am as far as body-wise, but I think we probably have about the same size wrist. Hers might be a little bit smaller, um, which would mean she would have about a six-inch wrist because mine's about six and a quarter. So we'll get that all fixed up for her. There's some earrings that go with this. And then the other gal, I need to, um, she's purchased this and the little pendant. So this, she needs a seven and a half. So I'll just go ahead and undo this, straighten it out, measure it, make sure that it will be seven and a half for her also. So that's what I'm doing tonight or to earlier tomorrow. I do have another one I'm working on and it has quartz, um, citrine, jasper. I think this is, um, oh, what's it called? The green. Um, Jade, I'm sorry, I couldn't even speak. I think that might even be carnelian there. Um, I think that's citrine, I can't remember. But this one will 
if anybody wants it. It's like $7. I just had to restring it because it was just too loose. So I'm restringing it and it will be tight to where it'll be about like that. You know, not quite that short, but it'll tighten it up. So if anybody's interested in this one, it is $7. And it has kind of like the little gold spacer beads in between. They're gold tone, they're not gold. Okay. So here we go, we're gonna go ahead and start. The first necklace that I have is one of my favorites, it's beautiful. It has jaspers and agates. One of them almost looks like Labradorite. I can't remember which one it was, but these are the most beautiful colored beads. This is actually gold filled. This here, um, it says, Guys, I've lost my magnet, so I'm, still, I'm waiting for it to show up. Um, it is gold filled. I think it's 14 one twentieth. Yes, it's one twentieth of 14k. We have this beautiful cording with um, crystals that could be Swarovski. They're just gorgeous. Um, Look at the jaspers. Then we have what looks almost like labradorite here because you have a little bit of that bluing um, right through. The, you can kind of see it there. Then we have some more. This looks like landscape jasper. This looks like um, moss agate. And then we've got this beautiful piece here with the browns. This is gorgeous. These look like mahogany um, jasper. This one, look at that piece. So this, this is beautiful. It is not lightweight. It is gorgeous. It is long. It is, let's see, 12. It's about 32 inches and it is beautiful. So I'm up at 20 on this one. And remember, it is gold filled class. Okay, next, we have kind of a mystery, but it is very interesting with the coin. Here, this very well, it's very cold. The donut, it is probably onyx. That's what I'm thinking. It could be black jade for all I know. Um, we have some amethyst through here, um, probably onyx. We have these tubes here that are cold. I'm not real sure what these are made of. I'm not going to speculate. I'm, I see quite a, I see them quite a bit, the tubes, but I'm just not sure. And these are kind of a, more of a rough um, bead. I'm not sure what that's made of. Um, these don't. You know, when you get them a lot of times, you have no idea where they're coming from. I'm just checking to see if it's sterling, and I don't think so. But it's got the fish, fish hook, older clasp, vintage clasp here. I don't know why I'm way over here, sorry. Right there. And it is long. It's just really interesting. It's got a, like a lilac purple undertones to it. It's about 28 inches with the drop, it'd be about 30. But it's really, really pretty, and I'm gonna put 14 on this one. Very nice, very nice clasp. Okay, next, I'm just pulling them out one by one. Okay, now when I had my gem tester, I did test these, and they were actually stones. Um, I didn't think they were, but they are. And they're cold. I think these are kind of like a um, shiny resin has put on them or some type of a coating that makes them shine more. Um, we have amethyst. We have, um, why can't I think of the green stone? Mm, 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 mm. Anyway, then we have what looks like citrine or amber, kind of an amber color. We have a darker brown here. We have a quartz here. Um, it's just really 
it's just neat. Um, and it's got a really pretty sound to it. So it's not very heavy, it's pretty lightweight. It's kind of Indian inspired. It's just beautiful, like from India. I just think it's lovely. So I'm gonna put 12 on this. So I hope everybody's getting ready for Easter Sunday. Um, we're trying to spruce up the house a bit and put out some little Easter things and some other things for the baby, and we've just had a lot of fun. This is a U and I piece. This I've shown before. There we go. U and I. Okay, this is very interesting. We have. We have a couple pieces of coral. We have two black beads here that could be anything. We have some either turquoise or halite dyed. We have what I think is, it's a bloodstone or dragon's blood or something. This looks like carnelian here. It looks like a quartz. This looks like unikite. This is a jasper. This looks like a, this looks like a granite. This also looks like a um, really pretty, almost a, um, oh, goodness, I can't think. These actually are kind of faceted. This one and even this here, the granite. This green is beautiful. Um, I keep wanting to say ametrine. I don't know why I'm saying that word because I don't even know what that is, ametrine. Um, anyway. I'm not real sure what that is, but it's cold and nice. That's another little stone here. That's petrified, kind of like petrified wood. Looks like we've got some coral down here. Very interesting. So when I say this is you and I, I never figured that they made um, anything with stone. I mean, real stone. Well, I found another piece, <laughs> very interesting. So I'll let you see that they do make stuff out of stone. This is gorgeous. Okay, this is you and I. There's the tag, the U, and it says and I right there. It has a very nice extender here. This looks like sterling. I cannot find my magnet. Um, it does not say 925, but these are just really, really nice end caps. They're very smooth. Um, this is just a perfectly well-made, beautiful piece. These, let's see, did I check these? Yeah, those are real pearls. Um, seed pearls, they're, you know, fresh water. This has, oh, goodness some absolutely beautiful pieces of stone. We've got some other pearl. These pieces here are spectacular. Those look like a, I don't know what those are, but those are beautiful. Look at those. And then we've got some jaspers here, some beads. Then of course we come down to the coral and turquoise and mother of pearl. I mean, this is just beautiful. This is very, very, you know, well-made piece here. And these stones are gorgeous. I, it's just spectacular anyway. So these two pieces, I'm gonna put $17 a piece on these. These are lovely. Um, so, like I said, I've, I've even found some Chico's pieces that had no natural stone. So, you just never know. But, I really like those. Very unusual. Okay, next, I have a piece I'm not real sure about. I do believe that this is a jasper. Then we just kind of have some, somebody just kind of beaded it up, you know, put some beads on it. Um, those little black seed beads there. 
and then we go up to the top. It's got a really nice toggle. It's a magnet. And I just thought it was interesting. And it does, of course, it has a jasper. It has a stone. So I'm going to put $10 on that. Very interesting. Then we have the kind of pinks, peachy, browns, and these cute little tulip glass. These are like an art glass. And then we have the gold up here. All right. And it is right at... I think I remember it was 18 inches, yes. Right at 18. Now these two are a little bit shorter, but they have extenders. That has a heck of an extender. Um, that's 16 with about a two inch extender. Let me check this real quick. I was thinking this was 925, but I do not see yeah, both of these have very nice clasps like this. Both of the U and I's do. Very nice clasps. Okay, next we have another kind of a mixed mixture. Um, we have some kind of light gold tone. Excuse me. God. Ugh. Excuse me. Gold tone. Um, little seed beads in between. We've got some beautiful. Um, kind of a rough, um, tumbled, but they're very soft and smooth. So we've got agates, we've got jaspers, we've got what I think is jet. These black pieces here, I don't think they're on it. I think they're jet. I'm not positive. Um, we've got a beautiful gold tone um, barrel here, barrel clasp. It's very well made. It's very pretty. It is approximately, let's see, 26 inches. We have a beautiful um, amethyst here and here. Um, the white could be quartz. It could be jade. Um, these pieces here, the green. Man, it's on the tip of my tongue what that green stone is. Oh, it's just so aggravating. Um, anyway. But these are really, really pretty. Okay. And what did I just say? What are we going to put on this one? Ten? Yeah, I'd really like for somebody to have this. This is almost, this is like a um, science project. You know, show the kids what's what in the stone world. But yeah. So that black stone here would be the end piece, more or less. Okay. We'll do 10 on that. Next, we have a beautiful citrine. And what I think could be... I'm pretty sure these tested as citrine. Um, they are not um, any other precious stone. This is just a stretchy that's got the same exact type of chips that I'll put with it. I did test this for carnelian. It was not. It is actually, I think this is just stone. You know what I mean? Like just glass or, you know, nothing too fancy. But this is beautiful. Um, the colors are very unusual. This is right at 24 inches with the cross. It'd be about 25. It is really pretty with the silver. Got bead caps and silver beads in between. The cross is just beautiful. I mean, you wouldn't know it wasn't carnelian or something like that because it's cold. But I did use a gem tester on it and it tested as glass, but these tested as stone. So all of it did. The, the quartz and the citrine and these here. So we will put 20 on this just because it's just beautiful. It's got a lot of stonework on it, you know, chips and all. And then this is just, um, just a little stretchy. Okay. Oh, and it's got a huge vintage clasp. Oh, little spring ring. 
Isn't that cool? Okay, next. Like I said, I'm just pulling them as they come. Oh, this hematite. So cute. We have the little cat's eye, the different colors. I almost look like little Easter eggs. How sweet. Okay, we'll do six on this. I know there are a lot of people that love some hematite. Okay, what do I want to do next? Okay, here we go. This is a little piece that I think... I think this is stone, but I'm not going to... You know, it's cold. I'm just not sure. It might be kind of like that other piece I had. Um, and be a piece of cut you know, jasper or something, but I'm not positive. But these stones through here are super cold. These tubes are kind of faceted, and I do believe that they are st some type of stone. Um, these two. And then these are seed beads that come all the way up. And then you have a really nice barrel clasp. I just thought the color was so pretty. It's almost like an egg, uh, you know, the brown egg color. It's a little bit more of a kind of a green cast to the yellow. And this is right at 24 inches. And the flower is just darling. So it's kind of, I don't know if you would say, it just looks jimmy. It's, you know, it's faceted and shining. And um, I think it'd be really, really pretty to wear this spring. So we'll put $12 on that. Next is something that is very, very different. Has a really nice kind of a gunmetal chain on it. I have tried to figure this stone out. I thought it was painted, I thought it was fake. But as you turn it sideways, it goes all the way around. The design or the, you know, matrixing colors. It does have some um, facets through here or um, so I don't know what this is I don't know if it's real I don't know I don't how could anybody paint it I just or transfer wear or I don't know but this is absolutely super cold I think it's very interesting it is um, very beautiful I'll show it to you up close isn't that amazing and it's got, like I said, it's you can feel the lines in there. So, let's measure it real quick. It's right at 18 inches, and I'm going to put $10 on it. But it is very fascinating. Very fascinating. I have no idea what that is. Okay, next we have some Unikite. This is a little dainty piece. It's just beautiful. The pieces are super cold. You've got the little tiny seed beads in between. You've got a piece of unikite at the bottom that has uh, a lot more of the green in it. I babysat my grandson for like seven hours. We had a blast, but now I'm tired. This is just beautiful. See how we have that little hewing going through there? Almost like... um. um Almost like tiger's eye, really, kind of. You've got kind of the, the cross, um, I don't know what you would call that. The visual where you can actually see it kind of move. It's very neat. So this Unikite is, I think it is a 20 inch, almost 20 inches. And it's got a really nice clasp. I keep checking. I know I had some sterling. I don't think this is it. This is a relatively new piece. But people love some Unikite. It's got that beautiful kind of an orange. It goes all the way from an orange and green to a light orange and green to almost down to here where there's very little orange. So we will say, we'll do 14 on this one. It's just beautiful. Okay. Next, we have a little piece, and I think 
Yeah, it feels like it's broken. If anybody wants them, I can file this down. Um, I've been doing a lot of repairs lately, but I enjoy doing it. Um, I think this actually had a, um, a circle on it for it to go onto a necklace. Um, let me see if I can get that to where it's not sticking. Anybody? I'm just using a regular file for it. It was like a piece of glass sticking up. So it probably had a circle there. Um, I don't know. It's kind of weird. But it's a bear, and it's an unikite bear. And it's really cute. And I've almost fixed him to where he's not going to be rough or anything. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we have the little Unikite bear. He is more greenish, light. He's like a light green with orange. Very pretty colors. That's why I um, fixed that little piece that was sticking up. It does not, you can just barely feel it now. And it's not sharp. So if anybody wants him, he's three dollars. And he's sweet. Okay. Next we have what I think is a whole bunch of agates. We have like a let's see, a moss agate, a couple moss agates. We might even have an unikite or two. We've got some darker colors. Maybe some lace agates. This is very, very pretty. This is very similar to the um, Unakite as far as the way it's made. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that pretty? But this is mainly moss agates with a few other pieces put in. And then we have the um, fish fish eye hook here. I don't think this is sterling, but I will check. I think this is gold filled. I'm pretty sure it is. I think it's 1 20th, um, 10, I mean 18 or 14. Hold on here. I gotta get out the big guns. 120 14k so that's gold filled very nice i'm sure that the little um, spacers in between probably are also so this little beauty is 20. isn't she pretty and she is cold and she is so smooth she is beautiful and don't forget it's gold filled Okay, all right, next we have a little moss agate, just a little um, chip, but these chips are very soft and smooth, and they have been um, tumbled, and let's see, is this 925? I don't think so. These are some nice class for not being 92. This says tie. I'm surprised this isn't 925. Yes, this is 925. So this has a 925 clasp right there. On the other side, it says Thailand. Um, that doesn't mean much. I mean, it doesn't mean that the, brace, the necklace was made there. It just means that clasp was. But those are pretty. Those are some kind of darker browns. And then some moss agates, and we'll, I'll just put $8 on this. Okay, then we have a couple cute little... I'm going to throw that in with that. Um, we got two little... That looks like a little lamb. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? So I'm thinking this is hematite with it just little spacers. <laughs> Excuse me. That's darling. Yeah, there's his little face. Oh, so 
So we've got a hematite stretchy. Then we've got, this has got different little jaspers, like red jasper and other things. And it's just, it just goes on your wrist. I think somebody could use that for the, for the stone chips. And then this one is the lava rock, which you can actually put um, scent, like um, essential oil, a drop or two in there. And it says, it's really neat, it says not by might nor power, but by your spirit. What's that? Z-E-C-A, Z, Z, I can't say it. Zebekiah, chapter 4, verse 6. Okay, so that's what that says. And I'll sell these three for five. Aren't they cute? I love those um, Bible verses. They bring back some beautiful memories. Okay, I have what I think is, an, is probably a sodalite and a jasper. And it is super cold. It is made in the rosary style. It has a um, clasp here. I don't believe it's 925. I'll lay it out here. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty. The colors are amazing. Okay, so we it's 20 inches. Must be beautiful with all different kind of colors. Pastels, blue jeans, a white top, everything. Okay, so let's put 12 on that. That's beautiful. Okay, next we have... We have a piece that is actually amber. It is made in, um, it's funny because I've never had this tangle with anything. I'm not real sure why. This does not have a mark on it. This, the clasp is not 925. So what we've got is just kind of the illusion wire necklace. Sorry, I've had it laying here so long that it's kind of wonky. Come on, get it together, guys. There we go. Okay. Needs to hang up for a while. It's been sitting for quite some time. Okay. So there we go. And this one should go under all the rest. There we go. So we have this, and then we have the amber earrings that go with it, and the stones, I don't believe that they're jaspers, um, but here, I'll show you. You can tell, even without me cutting off the lights, the fluorescent. But you can see, shiny shine, and then that one there. See if you can see it. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. And those. And that set right there is 15. I think I've showed that before. Yeah. Um, the earrings are just really cute. And then the fixing, the findings are not um, 925. This is right at 16 and a half, and it has an extender. It can go, it's got a real nice extender on it. It can go 17 to 17 and a half, probably. So there's the hat. We're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, next I'm going to show you. The turquoise that I have, it is probably mostly dyed halite. I'm going to show you this pendant first. This pendant is beautiful. The front of the pendant is kind of hard to see. It has like a swirl pattern here. Um, but on the back is where you can see. <laughs> I think it's leopard. Um, 
Leper Skin Jasper. I'm, I think. I'm pretty sure. Isn't that neat? And that pendant right there is $7. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I like that. So if you weren't looking at it, if you were looking at it, it almost looks like um, Tiger's Eye. It's got a swirl pattern to it. I don't know if you can see it with the blue light or not. Let's see. Yeah, kind of. It's really cool, though. There's the swirl right there. Yep. Okay. Done with that one. Okay, next we have the turquoise. We have a cuff that's made of the kind of the rougher. It's really soft on the inside. It's made of the um, chips. And they have been tumbled. And they're nice and they're really attached well. This can be made smaller. Um, it's really pretty. It's a nice cuff. And you can see that somebody took a lot of time with it. And I'm going to put $5 on that. So we've got the cuff. Set that there. We've got a nice necklace that really matches it pretty well. This is pretty cool. This is the rougher Probably how light died, from what I can tell. And some of it could be very real. Um, and it has the barrel clasp, so it's probably older. It's nice and long. It's about, let me see here. It's about 30 inches. Isn't that pretty? So... I'll put 10 on that, and if you wanted to buy that as a set, I would put 13 total. 13 for the set, or 5 and 10. You get $2 difference. Okay, next. Now, this, I do believe, is 925 on this one, if I remember correctly. Well, shoot got a really nice little extender on it. Yes, this one has a 925 clasp right there. And it is really pretty. You can see it's darker. We've got some of the greens that you get with some of the older stones. So I'm going to say I'm pretty sure that this has at least some pieces that are not halite that are actual turquoise. So I'm going to put uh, $13 on this one just because of the sterling and the really nice extender. So we'll put $13 on that. And it is, let's see, almost 16 inches, not quite. Okay, next we have two. Okay, this one here, as you can see, has some halite dyed pieces. I'm going to throw that in with this. Okay. So 5 and 10 or 13 for these three. Okay. Now this one goes very well with this. So why don't we do the same thing here? Let's do 15 for the pair. This is really nice. This is really, really nice with the barrel clasp. So we'll do 15 here, 13 here, okay? Or we can do the, you know, 13 and 5, whatever. We'll do it that way, okay? And then we have a ring, and it is beautiful, but it doesn't come up as sterling. So I'll show it to you. It is about as turquoise as you can get. It has the three balls of sterling, even though it's not sterling. There, I do not believe there's a maker mark. Not that I remember. Um, let me check real quick here. Hmm. 
Yeah, that was really an upset because I bought it as real sterling. So, anyway, it's still gorgeous. No one would know. It is a size, I think it's a size seven. It is a seven and a half. And even though it's not sterling, it's gorgeous. I'm going to put $12 on that one. And it fell up. Okay. And then we have this beauty. I am not sure. These stones are cold. I'm not real sure if it's just a beautiful dyed, you know, halite. It has a beautiful clasp on it. It has beautiful stations. Um... Let me look here. I'm a looking. See if I can find it. Oh, maybe this one doesn't have an opening. But these stations are just gorgeous. I'll show it to you. Look at those. Each two stones, and then you've got the stations here. Could have sworn there was one that opened, but maybe not. And look at the red and the blue. That is just, this thing just reeks of Southwest. It is gorgeous. Like I said, the stones are some type of a dyed stone because they are cold. Um, I'm going to put 15 on this one. It is, if I remember, it is 30... I think it's right at 32 inches. It can be doubled. And it is beautiful. Isn't that nice? I just love the red. The red is just spectacular. Okay? And then the last little bit that I have is all mother of pearl. Let me try to get through this. I have another just beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, it fits. Um, mother of pearl with the um, what is that? A copper. It says made in India. Yes, and I mean it is beautiful. And that is ten. It is approximately two and three quarters across. Okay. Next, I'm just gonna pull them out. Next, we have this beauty. We have what I think are just some gold tone beads, but those very well could be little, you know, onyx beads. And then we have the mother of pearl feathers or leaves, either one. And then it comes down. It's just gorgeous. You have a little barrel clasp. It is 15 inches, and that is $8. Very pretty. Next, we have, oh, this is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, it's so sweet. So we have the Mother of Pearl. Let me check the um, clasp real quick here. No, it is not. Okay, we have the Mother of Pearl. Even on the back, you can see it. Then we have the little flower transfer wear, a little resin-coated pendant with the little Y here. I'll give you a measurement. That's just darling. Very unusual. It is right at 14 inches. Well, yeah, 14 inches with about an inch extender. And we'll put $10 on that. Wow, that, I mean, $10. Let's put $6 on that. Isn't that pretty? That's beautiful. Probably vintage or almost vintage. This thing is pretty. I know it looks kind of wonky, but it's really pretty. Let me close it real quick here. Um, this thing is different. It has the, um, well, I'm going to take up more time. It has the shells. They um, 
can go what, whatever direction you want them to go. They are beautiful and shiny and lovely. Look at that. I just think they're neat. You just make sure nobody with COVID gets anywhere near you with this on. This is great. You just like stick your chest out and say, I wish you would. Okay, so this one is approximately 16 inches. And it is just neat as it can be. Very, very shiny. So I put $10 on that. I thought it was pretty cool. Okay, next we have, well, I've got a couple of these. Let me put these together. I th thought I did. Okay, we've got that guy. We've got this one. This is so pretty. Look at, what is that, a cow cowrie shell? I cannot remember. I used to know all my shells when I was a kid. Oh, here we go. There's that. That's cute. Let's see, there's this. Um, oh, and the fish. Oh, yeah. So what we've got is um, different ways to do the puka shells. So we have shells here with glass fish. It is probably approximately 26 inches. It has a beautiful clasp on it, and I do believe it is sterling. Let's see here. No, it doesn't say it is. It looks like it is. It looks like the sterling clasps. So I'll put $12 on the fish just because it's kind of unusual. Not everybody would like it, but I think it's cool. Look at that. So we got 12 on the fish. We're going to put these two together. This is a stretch. This is a barrel, and it's really sweet. Look at that. Okay. So those two together are four. And then I'll put these two together. This really has a gold tone here. And it's got a little deeper um, mother of pearl down through there. So we've really got mother of pearl through here. These are main, mainly shells with the cowrie shell at the bottom. I don't believe this is 925, but it's a beautiful heavy-duty clasp. This has a vintage clasp. So these two together, I'll do 12. Okay, next, we have this, that's beautiful, Mother of Pearl design, isn't that neat? That is so pretty. It's got a really nice clasp on it, and this has some earrings that are just almost perfect. And this set is $10, and it is just waiting for you to wear to the beach. That's dark. This is almost 18 inches. That's pretty good. Okay. There we go. Set that over to the side. Okay. We have some bone. It's a bone pendant, and it's made in the style of kind of a um, landscape. Japanese or Chinese landscape. You can see the different levels. And um, I think it's like them working and going home and then going to the pagoda to worship, probably. So there's that. And that is bone. That is not ivory. As you can see by the back. And then you have two of these. These are little... Um, Sugar backs, and they are so cute. They are elephants on baskets or up on whatever. So this set right here is 15, and it is just so sweet. Very, very nice. 
very antique, if not older than that. Okay, next we have two, um, a set of screw backs here that are in excellent condition. I'm talking about excellent condition. The gold tone is still all there. Um, just beautiful. There are no maker marks on this. That's a carved mother of pearl. And I think I'm going to put it with, um, let's see if that will match. There's a beautiful little bracelet here. And it is approximately, let's see. It's, it's just darling. Well, that's silver. Let's not do that. Let's put it with, this is gold tone. So let's put this together. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous gold tone. These are actually um, square pieces of mother of pearl. I think it's two pieces that have been put together. We have the gold pieces in between. And then up here at the top, and it has a maker mark. And this is, well, it's Kenneth Lane. Never would have thought. So this piece here is Kenneth Lane. And that's the tag. Isn't that wild? And I'm going to put the earrings with this. It's got to be a vintage piece from him. So I'm going to put 25 on this. It's a nice long, it's gorgeous. About 28 inches. Barrel clasp. Beautiful. Wonderful piece. Okay, here's a piece of bone necklace. I'll show you the back. This just clips. Kind of like a belt would clip. And then it comes down like this. And that's just a piece, a little piece of paper. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Get off of there. So it can go like this. You have to really kind of push it down. Or that can be your clasp up at, the, at the neck, either way. This is old. This is very old. And uh, you can see the bone. You can see the little pitting and the holes. It is not ivory. Um, got the gold extender. I mean, <laughs> the gold spacer beads. Different size of beads here. And I think what I'll do is put 10 on this. It's kind of unusual. Um, this is really neat. This is old. This is an older piece. So that's beautiful. There's that. And there's that. Come on. And once you get it clasped, this is, um, you can push it down or pull it back up a little bit. And get it clasped a little bit better. Okay, very good. And what I, what did I say about that tin? Yeah, let's put tin on that. Okay, now we can put the bracelet with this. This is so cute. Look at this. And what's so cute about it is I have a ring to match it. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yes. It matches and it is the kind that you can make bigger or smaller it's probably about a size eight and a half now but it is so cute Look at that. then you have this that will lay it's long you've got mother of pearl you've got glass you've got kind of a faceted plastic there a beautiful silver tone chain very nice. Then you've got this. And I will put this with it because that matches very well. So you have a three-piece set. This can be extended or made longer or shorter. 
this can be from a six and three quarters up to an eight, nine even, if you wanted. But this piece, this set right here is 25. It's just lovely. Isn't that cool? So the ring has the little seed pearls and a little bit of the crystals around there. This has a larger pearl with some silver around it. And then the little dangles. Just lovely. I just love things like this. Okay, there's that. And we're almost done, guys. So we have this little mother of pearl with the little round piece. Um, vintage clasp here. Um, it's really pretty. It's kind of ombre very very pretty so I'm gonna put six dollars on that one it is about 16 inches very pretty then we have this beauty this thing is just gorgeous this has um, golden seed beads in between this mother of pearl has the pink running through it from the shell. It almost looks like someone's put fingernail polish, but it's not. It's part of the shell. This is beautiful. This, this would be beautiful to wear on the beach. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, doubled it is 12. So it's probably 46 inches, 47 inches. And I'm gonna throw in this little mother of pearl ring. So cute. And it is a size nine and a quarter. So this beauty right here is 17. And then the ring goes with that, okay. Oh, we're almost done. Oh, goodness. Then we have this little kind of a um, turquoise, maybe. It is not sterling, but it's very sweet. Just kind of a silver tone. You have those little designs. It's just beautiful. And it would fit probably, oh, let's see. Where is the clasp? It's got about three different spots where it can open. Oh, okay, here we go. It opens and then you can like tighten it up. See, isn't that cool? It sits like that. So it's gonna be longer than what it says. It's probably a little over a size seven. Yeah, I'll show you on me. About a seven, seven and a quarter, seven and a half. So I'll put five dollars on that just just because it's it's pretty. I think somebody might like it. Isn't that neat? Beautiful stone. Beautiful. Okay, and last but not least is a beautiful set. This is beautiful. These are real pearls. I think this is sterling let me check again it might not be but I thought for sure it was hmm. hold on here oh, no it's not it has a funny little mark on the clasp I think that's what I was looking at it's kind of Japanese lettering um these are agates and jaspers. These are gorgeous. I see a couple of um, like quartz here. Oh, this is just gorgeous. Super cold, real pearls, little tiny seed pearls in between here, in between the pearls and the rocks or the stones. Then you have this beautiful bracelet. That is the exact copy of this one. Um, it can be extended or made shorter, probably. It's a larger one. 
I think it's eight inches, if I remember. And I measured it once before. It might not be quite that long. Yes, it is eight inches. Let me put this out like this. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the stones on that. Then we have the little um, earrings. They look like a little totem or a little um, statuette, fountain, something. <laughs> they are just so cute. They go from smaller to big. Aren't they sweet? Yes, this is beautiful. This set right here with the pearl, real pearls and the three-piece set is 32. All right, well, you guys, I'm done. We got right at an hour again, so that's just absolutely perfect. I'll be working on those couple bracelets. If anybody's interested in that one, let me know. Um, I, I still have three of the showcase spotlights, so I haven't done any new ones, so I'll probably bring those back and uh, lower the price a little bit, maybe to 15 and keep, keep doing those until they're gone. Um, for about another week. And if those don't sell, then I'll put them up and we'll start on something else. But you guys have a wonderful rest of the night. This will probably upload about 2.30 or 3, maybe even 4. <laughs> so we will be sleeping in tomorrow. But I have all your requests from the video part one. I will be sorting through and making sure everybody's stuff is put in their bags um, and I will email you totals and get everything ready for you okay you guys thanks for subscribing you guys have been doing excellent giving me the thumbs up the like as you first come in if you forget just do it as you go out I got to get my channel into the algorithms that they use you know kind of like they do on Facebook um, when you like the channel it is spread out more onto the you know different like I'll see my video from time to time and I think as it's like more I get you know more views and then as I get more views then you know people tend to if they like it to subscribe so I want to get to 350 here quickly and get this um giveaway started so if we get close I'll, I'll go ahead and start the giveaway for the end of the week so and um we'll probably do the giveaway a giveaway video and let you guys um comment on it and then maybe next week the week after easter's over we'll do the drawing so all right you guys thank you so much love y'all and talk to you soon